Hi guys, we are going to be doing this highlight effect today. You can use it to highlight any text from any document, tune how it adjusts it, and change the color of the background of the highlight, the text color, and all that. Let's get to it. I just want to show you how it works first. Let's bring in a page, this page here. Let's say we increase the size of the page like so. Right click on it, make it a compound clip. Then let's bring in the effect. I tied it highlight. So I drag this on here. Then you can go here and play that. See, so highlights that cool stuff. But if you now go under effects, you can make adjustments to it. You can decide that you want, because right now you see this kind of finishes at the middle there. It stops and holds at the middle of the compound clip. But let's say we want to make it even faster. You can go to anim length and shorten this to 0.25. So that's, I'm just going to finish. If I play it out to see that, finish at a quarter of the time. You can change the animation curve here, the ease in and ease out. You can change text color. Let's say I change the text color to white. There you see, they change the highlight color to black. And bam, you have that going. You can also tune this. Let's say you want it to be thicker or like so. So that's how that works for the tuning. The edges, you know, see this edges, they're kind of roughened here. So I can decide to reduce the roughness like so. For the edges, this position is to determine where on the text you want it to be positioned. If I move this up, you can do that. If I go here and I click on Fusion Overlay, you see a tiny thing here. You can use to drag this around, position it where you want to position it, and um, play it out and the highlights. You can change the height of this. You can change the width of it. So if I go here, I can position where I want it to be just to highlight code. And I play that out, go here, go that, play, just highlight that. Okay. So that's that for all that, then you can change the colors. So you can download this in the description, have fun with it. But if you want to know how I made this out, I'm just going to go on from here. So let's delete all of this and bring in a fusion comp this out, then bring in the fusion composition, right click on it, open this diffusion page. Let's bring in that image to the left. I'm going to drag this image that I downloaded and put it in the right viewer. Let's make it a single viewer for now. You see this. So I'm going to bring in a merge node because this image size is bigger than HD. I'm going to bring in a merge node, connect this to the foreground and bring in a background node. This background node, I'm going to make sure it's 1080. I'm going to connect that to this. So if I bring this to the viewer, we see this. So let's just resize this a bit. This is just, this is something you don't need to do, but I just resize it for the effect you want to create here. Like so, something like that. So now to the effect itself. Let's bring in a rectangle mask. You see an outline of it here. Let's make the width to be 0 0.9. Let's make the height 0 0.05. So it essentially selects the text. Let's not position it yet. Let's just leave it at that. Let's make the edges rough a bit. So let's bring in a fast noise node. Drag that to the viewer. We have this. Go to the color tab. Under inspector for fast noise, increase alpha to one. Go to noise, then uncheck lock XY for scale. Then increase the Y scale to 20. Let's make this 50. We bring in a displace node. Let's connect this. This is what we want to displace. So we connect that to the orange input of the displace. Then this is the map we want to displace it with. So we connect that to the green input, drag that to the viewer. We already have the displacement going on. We could leave it as it is and move on. Let's bring in two transform nodes. Now connect this to these transform nodes. 
and this to this transform node. Now for this transform node, we go here, we set the pivot point to zero, pivot x to zero, and then this one, the pivot x also to zero. I'll use this transform to set the overall x size of this highlight. So I need to uncheck use size and aspect, same thing for this transform. So for this one, if I now reduce the size to, to this, it means if this guy is gonna move, it's gonna move from zero to one, it's gonna stop right where I set this for. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna animate this. Right click on this X size, modify with anim curves, go to modifiers, it should be zero to one. You can set the curve to e the easing to sign, Sign, but I think I'd prefer something fast. Circ, then maybe signed here. And um, if we now drag this to the viewer and play it out, you see this just goes on like that and stops. Cool. So now we have essentially the highlight we want to create. Let's drag this down a little bit. Let's bring in a, a matte control node. Right click and drop this on the matte control node, connect to garbage mat, click on the matte control node, expand garbage mat, click on invert, and connect the output here to the input of the matte control node, drag that to the viewer. We have that covered. Good. Let's just set the width of this to 0 0.5 for now. So it's half the size here. Now we want to now extract the text and extract the background. Let's bring it a, a bitmap node. Connect this to the bitmap node. Drag the bitmap node here. We'll see we have nothing showing. Under the bitmap node, change the channel to luminance. And you see the bitmap node as essentially selected the background. So I bring in two background nodes, one for the highlight and one for the text. Let's rename them accordingly. We name to highlight and um, this one to text, just a text H. All right. Connect both of them. Connect bitmap to both of them. But for this one, I want to invert it. So I'm going to go here and go to settings and click apply mask inverter. So you select the text. Ignore the fact that. All the other parts are still are selected this black part we're going to change that subsequently now let's change the color for the highlight let's change the color to red and change the color of the text to perhaps yellow let's pick something orange let's so, so it picks that now between this text between this bitmap and the text let's bring in an erode and dilate node Connect this here and connect that here. Like so, and let's bring in a merge node. Connect this to the merge node and drag this to the viewer so we have that. But for this merge node, I'm going to use this transform to be the mask for this. So we have, you see, we have this now. Let's just move this down a bit so you see what is connected to what. Good. Drag this here a bit. Okay. So we essentially have what we want. Just bring in another merge node here. Connect this to the foreground. And connect the output here to the background. Let's click Alt on the keyboard and click on this line to create a pipe route. Pipe router. And let's drag that here so it makes it clean. Let's bring in the media in out, media out, collect that, and ta-da, we have it all done. See so if I go to the beginning, and I play it out. See, it then Shelly picks the text. Let's just position it properly. So I said I'm going to use this transform to position it. So I'm just going to move this up a bit, and so we have the text. So this text color, I'm not feeling it too much. So I'm just going to go here and um, brighten it up a little bit. Let's pick something brighter. So, okay. So we have that going. We can always tune how perfectly the text is masked out. So I can drag this here 
and the more we drag it towards here the thicker and brighter the text will be and there it is guys so i packaged all of this into a macro for you to use have fun with it and um see you on the next one cheers